Hello friends, welcome back to YouTube. So in this video, we are going to send the WhatsApp messages using a browser. So basically you can just spam on anyone and sending a tons and tons of messages using your program. So let's see how can we do this. So the people who are new here, I uh, just want to let them know that please watch the previous videos to know that uh, what we are doing. So I just want to give you overview that we are using a puppet here in JavaScript. Uh, to automate the process of a browser basically a web automation and you can see i have a basic setup uh, already done so in this i have done nothing much but like imported the puppeteer this is the open source library provided by google for web automation and uh, web scrapping so this runs a headless chrome so we can also run a headless uh, browser for the server so this puppeteer also works in the server as well so I have this function called scrap here, which takes in the URL. So basically we're gonna send the WhatsApp messages. So I'm using the URL web.whatsapp.com. After that, I have just launched a browser instance and opened a new page there and just went to that URL called web.whatsapp.com. So let's just understand the WhatsApp web architecture or the structure of a page so that we can decide how to spam anyone with our messages. Let's get started. So let's just get back to our browser. So I'll just open the browser and open the web dot WhatsApp dot here. So yeah, so this is how actually web dot WhatsApp dot com appears. So basically, first of all, we need to scan our QR code. So you will have to do this manually. So I'll just scan my QR code from my mobile. Okay. So yeah, this is how the web.whatsapp.com opens. So basically what we need to do is like, we need to click on any one of these user here. So I'll just click on the first user. So this is what our program will do. Our program will click on any of the person here. So I'll just click first one called egg villain. So I'll click this one. After that, our program will have to type some message here. And after the message is typed, the program needs to hit enter. So let's get back to our developer tools, control shift I, and let's see what actually the structure of this element is here. Okay, so we can see this element is basically like a span and has a title of equivalent. So we can just use this query selector. I hope you are well familiar with the query selector. So query selector is basically a way of getting reference to a certain HTML elements. So we can just click on this title. So we can get this span and title where title is equivalent. So I'll just copy this equivalent. So this is our target. So back to our program. First of all, we'll have to define our target like on which person, to which person we want to send the element, to send to which person we want to send the messages. So this will be equivalent to page dot dollar so this is our page selector basically so here we can just specify a selector so i'll call it span and then here a span whose sorry whose title is equivalent okay this is fine but as you know like that when we go to web.whatsapp.com it takes some time to scan the element to scan the whatsapp web and then this span will come up so we will have to first of all wait for this selector so that uh, like the program doesn't crash. So we'll have to wait for this selector until this selector is not available. Our program will not move forward. So I'll use page dot wait for selector method. Oh, sorry. Why well, it's not giving hint? Yeah, it's here. Page dot wait for selector. And uh, you can just paste your selector basically back here. Okay, no, sorry, I have copied the whole parenthesis. So I'll just replace it. Okay, so this is what our program need to wait for. So program will wait for here to come up the user. So once the user is available, I'll again take its reference. So I have taken its reference and uh, okay, it needs to be await because you know that it's all asynchronous going. So these are all long threaded operations. So we'll have to await. So once the target is available, we need to click on target. So I'll call target dot click. So target dot click will click on that element. So basically the name of the user will be clicked and the corresponding messages of that user will be open. So once the target is clicked, we just need to type something in this div here. So we just need to type something here. So I'll just take its reference like what this is. So we can just right click on it and go to copy and copy selector. So this will take up its 
preference so back to our code so it's like i'll call it something uh i'll got const inp this is like input box uh so i will use await page dot dollar again so this is basically document dot query selector and pass the selector of that element so this is a bit long but don't worry we have just copied it and you can also so this inp is now basically reference to that input field so uh, let's not forget to use await here await so this is like await okay fine so yeah we are done now this is done so let's the get the main interesting part now what we need to do is like we just need to make a for loop so let's say for let i equals to zero and set i is less than how many messages you want to send so i want to send him 70 messages and i plus plus and then just make a body and here we just need to type in this input field so i can just call uh okay it has to be await again await inp dot type and some message here okay this is magic because i'll just increase the messages to 100 so you can see really cool stuff going on so there's a one last step to go that is you need to press the enter so i'll again use await page dot uh keyboard instance basically we need to get the keyboard and press the key it's quite simple and which key we want to press we want to press enter this is done so you will see oh sorry it's enter here okay i think everything looks cool so let's just test it out i'll just save the program and let's run the program again okay the page is available let's scan it okay you can see the really cool stuff going on you can see at the bottom we have this loop going on and it's typing the messages and sending the messages in a loop this is really cool so you can just spam anyone with it okay you can see the loop is going on and on and on and you can see this user will get frustrated with these messages so you can do this thing with any user and you can also detect the incoming messages for example like you can just wait for the some message coming in and once that message is available you can just start this loop again and the user will get frustrated i hope you like the videos and if you have liked the video please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and don't forget to like comment share the video thank you and see you soon